I'm here to give a moment for the Central Pacific Conference of the United Church of Christ, or as I often say, the CPC. My name is Pam Rossio. I'm a member of Lake Oswego UCC and the current moderator of the Board of Directors. I often hear this question, what does the conference do? I hope to give you a brief overview of the important work of this conference in the UCC. The CPC currently supports 41 active churches with about 6,000 members in southern Washington, Oregon, and southern Idaho. We are called to foster stronger connections, nurture spiritual growth, amplify our prophetic voice, and to be an anti-racist conference. Now more than ever during these challenging times, the ongoing work must go on. We are stronger together. Our conference minister, Rev. Tyler Connolly, supports our ministers, churches in search and call, and works with the moderator team and board members, many committees and teams, as well as with other organizations in our area and other conference ministers and our national UCC office. He also supports and participates with our very important Committee on Ministry, which supports our approximately 160 authorized CPC UCC ministers and MIDS, which stands for Ministers in Discernment. And they also make sure ministers seeking standing in our conference meet the appropriate standards to become ordained ministers in the Central Pacific Conference in the UCC. Other vital teams are the Justice and Witness Ministry team, who lifts up and works for justice for all by actively participating in ministries of compassion, advocacy, and reconciliation. The wider church team strengthens and encourages relationships between the conference and local congregations with global, ecumenical, and interfaith partners. And finally, we have our local church and ecumenical ministry team, which supports our pastors and helps coordinate educational resources for children and adults. Right now, we also have three working groups assigned by the board. One is a fund development team who helps to promote Friends of the Conference and our communications ministry team who supports and assists with communication needs. And... Um, our disaster response team, who we just recently activated. We can't forget our four other staff members. Our office administrator, Debbie Jacober, who has served the conference for 40 years. Reverend Gail D., our part-time communications director, who works with the communication ministry team. And Natalie and Bob Becker, who manage and co-direct Camp Adams, our conference's church camp, in Malala, which just happens to be one of my favorite places on the planet. One of the positives of our churches going virtual during the pandemic is that many members are feeling more comfortable with Zoom and we are able to get more connected and share many resources more easily across the conference through Zoom and Basecamp. I could go on and on about our conference, but I don't have enough time. I have so enjoyed volunteering my time and talents to the conference these past four years. I have learned so much, met so many passionate people, and seen God's light in Southern Washington, Oregon, and Southern Idaho. We are stronger together. I encourage you to participate in conference events, or better yet, to volunteer. One way to do that is to sign up for our monthly newsletter on the way. You can do that on the homepage of the Central Pacific Conference webpage. Thank you.